Courtney Welsh was similar in height to Kirtley Ambrose. Um, obviously, again, a guy that wasn't express pace, but again, a very tall West Indian um, who who had these 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 eyes. They were they were angry eyes and uh, once those eyes start to tell a story and he gets a sniff then no one really gets close to you know you you talk about the marshes and uh, the marshals and, and the ambroses and those guys but my goodness you put them together and you have the partnership of those guys coming from both ends um it wasn't a pleasant sight because you 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 were sweating you know you had ambrose in one end Courtney Walsh at the other, and you had nine overs apiece from both of them. And uh, I think, I think the score was about 24 for one after, after 16 overs. And that's how, that's how impressive those two were. There was, there was a test match in at, at Old Trafford that I watched West Indies versus England. Uh, Betty had a really good run in with with uh, Nasser Hussain, and he ended up right almost right inside the grill of Nasser Hussein. <laughs> he was that close. And to be fair, Nasser didn't take a, a backward step. He, he tried to stare him down. And there was a little smile underneath the helmet from, from Nasser. Uh, and then I think a couple of balls later, he bowled the most beautiful slower ball. Uh, it just sort of dipped on him and knocked the stumps over. He was also a man of very little words, very little words, and it was just the actions out there. And I think that the admiration for me was how they went about their business. They, they, they were not big sledges. Uh, Ambrose Walsh, maybe, maybe Marshall would have said a couple of words, but wow, it's just his presence. He's he bold, also an ugly bouncer. Um, I would. I, th I love the stage that they put themselves on because they were actors in that stage. They were, that for me was the most intimidating thing, is that they would, and I faced him in 98. The more I, I, I looked at those guys, the more I learned from them, the more I wanted to be as mean as them, as, not as mean, that's a wrong word, but, but ruthless as them because that's what they put on the line and I think that that's how much it meant running through, but, uh, batting lineups and that's what made them great um, is that factor is that when they were on they were the best in the world without a question of a doubt one would all probably argue that that Courtney wasn't in the same sort of bracket as those other guys but my goodness the and he bowled a million overs <laughs> uh, he bowled he was a workhorse and near the end of his career was probably, yeah, he was probably, uh, see how his body moves these days, it's not the greatest. He was uh, very skillful in, in uh, adapting to cer certain lengths. You know, he was not, not your, your, your out and out guy would just rock up and bowl you short balls and but he was really, really good at sussing you out and really figuring you out. That for me, is why he is a very intimidating character. Um, the partnership between them was, was that is intimidating to me. I mean, it was just, uh, it, was, it wasn't great sitting in the stand watching how to get players getting through that new ball against those two. It was hard work. Wacker was in Ambrose and Walsh. It was pace against their, their height and bounce. They, they were not slow, Ambrose and Walsh. They were not slow. But it's the, it's it, it's just that ugly length that they bowled, and uh, and the bounce that they get on any surface that made them. Them.